high in the zone, but calls strike. Lampkin, you'll see him drop down. Here comes a changeup. Two batters, two Ks, both of them looking. So you don't get again. Here's a changeup. Brown ball at Ali Camarillo, and that's the inning. Appel today. We're seeing Ted Burton as he goes down. And Cameron Lejeune has a. Three strikeouts in the inning. Last year, can't get a whole lot better than he did, and that was a quick one, two, three. Off the end of the bat, charging hard. Targotch, and with the glove, flips it over. Change up, got him. Oshenbeck, Lejeune is is on the mound and ripped liner Good. opposite way again for Bender up this one caught by Chase Keaton to get him off balance well struck opposite field Targotch will round first and he'll try for two play at second base and the throw was a bit off line Targotch slides in with a double and it was a struggle to start but he was one of the youngest players in Coffer gets a double. That's after Targotch's double. And number 11 sends number 12 home. It's one to nothing, Aggies. Opposite way. Duhon over there. He'll make the grab. Coffer's going to tag, and he'll get to third base. It was one of the pitchers out of the pen that Jim Schlossnagel and the Aggies circled on their scouting report. Abraham. Pretty solid one in relief. Ground out here by Ted Burton. Going to happen two, three times a series. He, he, he was going to be called upon. It felt like every game, this game in the eighth inning, or the sixth inning. Well, Braley Hollins, quick work of him as he grounds out to Ryan Targouch. Tosh Nigga went to. So reliable. And this time, Chase Keaton rips one back up the middle, right past the glove of Oshenbeck. First hit against Oshenbeck. And Oshenbeck makes quick work of Stroh this time. See if they can try and squeak out a Saturday win. Lavalette opposite way. Pretty well hit, but into the glove of Connor Westenberg and left field. South wind, so. Montgomery, that hit off the mound and veered over to the shortstop, Connor Schneider, and he'll throw Montgomery out. That's what you're trying to do as a hitter. Shot. Back foot gets tagged. He's trying to lay another bunt down on that shift. And you wear that pad on the front foot, but not on the back. Here's he shot on the move. There he goes. Grohovic's late again. And Ty Abram. Come on for McNeese. First pitch swinging. Targotch goes to the dirt, bounces off of him. And it'll be a lead base runner. Connor Westenberg works again. He sure does. Crashing from third base is Grahovic, and Oshenbeck will take this himself, the sacrifice. Miss hit one, that's gonna hurt your hands a little bit. Back up the middle, base hit into center field. Lavalette will elect not to throw home. No play at the plate. McNeese has tied the game. With a runner on first, he's going. Right away, throw down. In time, they got Duhon. Coffer threw him out. To take on here and see if Peary can come across the plate. He doesn't. Four straight out of the pen. That that's going to just drive Coach Sloshnego crazy. Slider here. There it is again. Well, he threw his first five pitches out of the zone. Low and away and in the dirt. That's a walk. Way right here. Off the legs of Abraham. That may have been a base hit up the middle if it doesn't strike him. Not sure if they'd had a play at it up the middle. It was pretty well struck, 101 miles per hour off the bat, but Abraham with the stab with the leg will be able to pick it up and get Targotch, and Bender up moves to second. I think that 100% is a single right there. Up and in, two walks this inning by Ty Abraham. Stramiska chopped. Nice diving play and a throw across the diamond.
by Peyton Lejeune will get Camarillo. He'll face Lavalette and the ball five champ. And the go ahead run. He did throw it low. Base on balls walk and an Aggie two to one lead. High left field on the run, Westenberg. They won't get there. The Aggies roam the bases. They're trying to get another one home. Safe at the plate is Lavalette. And the Aggies score three off the ball that falls in left field. Yeah, I think it was. Mint to the leg, foot to the plate, which is first. You might get an overturn here, Boomer. Yeah, I, would, I think if you don't overturn that, if I'm a McNeese coach, I'm quite. Down the inning, McNeese will retain their challenge. So with the overturned call, it is four to one, Aggies. You'll... Bouncer, that bender up, and an easy out. Pitching in nearly two games this weekend, 26 Ks, lined. In the right field, Braley Hollins has his second hit of the day. Just read you the Aggie pitching numbers today for the second straight game. They have pitched brilliantly, and now the 12th man watches the on these players, warm them up. Temperatures essentially in the high 40s for most of this one. Hard throw from Budmive. Eight, nine, and one. Westenborg. And Schneider and Duhon. Duhon's had a good weekend. He'll hit third in that ninth inning. Hayden Schott's got a base hit. It's more. Chestnut's going, got a great jump, but a great throw and a sliding tag made by Braley Hollins. Now a safe call is made. I don't think Hollins held on to the ball despite a great effort. Look at that ball just being set on the bag. Just couldn't hold on. A good delayed steal and good execution. There it is. Grahovic found a pitch and lined it into center field, but Cooper Hex on the run will grab it. And Chestnut trying to take third base. Got in there before the tag. Sets up a potential sacrifice. Any good, because I didn't see the ball up. I didn't get it up, just like that. Pick out of the day by McNeese pitching. Targach pounds a ground ball into the dirt. Tough play and a throw away by Braley Hollins. And that'll give the Aggies their insurance. And Targach will go all the way to second. It's an appell at the plate. Still a chance for some more insurance here for AM. That's a walk. Camarillo got that through the left side. Targot's churning for home. More insurance for the Aggies. It's six to one. And it's a call strike three. That will end the eighth, but the Aggies get a. Interesting, just. Call strike three on the corner. That is the only hit by the top three in the order for the Cowboys. Otherwise, they've been pretty un. Fair territory. Budmive takes it all himself, and the Aggies will take the Saturday contest. Final count on this one, AM.